What's up everybody? I am Jazzy Denise. This is Jazzy Denise TV and welcome back to the channel today. In this video, I will be showing you guys how I tinted my eyebrows and got them to look, you know, pretty good if I do say so myself. If you're interested in this topic or want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, you know. If you want to see how I got my eyebrows to look this way and what I did to get them here, go ahead and keep on watching. Alright y'all, so look, here's the thing. I am in a rush because it is Polar Bear Weekend. I'm just going to show you guys how I tint my eyebrows and what I use to tint them. I know I'm coming on here real fresh right now, okay? Fresh face, for real. Pimples showing and everything. But, real talk, I ain't never had eyebrows. Like, that was not something that God gifted me with. So, when I um, discovered ways and techniques to create the look of eyebrows, I went for it. I have tried so many different things to make my eyebrows look nice and thick and full and voluptuous and pretty. Not everything has worked or at least worked how I wanted it to. So enough talking because I don't want this to be a long video. Let's get into it. This is what I use. This is the Just For Men Darkest Brown H50, okay? It is a regular dye for men. I'm sure you can probably use the same dye for women. I don't know, but at the end of the, day, of the day, it works for me. It lasts about a week. I like the results and I like how long it stays. I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up my eyebrows a little bit. I like to get rid of any sparse hairs. And it's kind of just lingering outside of my actual eyebrow shape that I like to have. And y'all, this was years coming. It took me forever. I mean, forever to actually get my eyebrows to kind of grow and form. But let me concentrate. Let me stop talking and concentrate. <laughs> that I don't like are cleaned up now. That kind of creates a guideline. So now I can see exactly where I want the product to sit. Well, let's get right into it. This is the color developer. This is the actual color. So I like to take one of these little like dressing cup tops. You can get it from the store. You can even use like a bottle cap, just something small because you don't need a lot of this product to do it. I'm gonna take the color. And I'm literally gonna pour a drop in the middle of this top. Like that's actually too much. But see, it's not a lot at all, I'm not a product at all. Take a drop of the developer. All right, this is what I got going on. So a drop within a drop. And I'm just gonna take the brush that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna mix it together. just mix it all together like a little paint canvas with this it gets darker over time so though it looks really light right now once we put it on let it sit and apply even as we're putting it on it's going to start getting darker and you know what i need a piece of napkin so i'll be right back okay back i just went and got a tissue uh -huh. this is going to come in handy for wiping off your brush in between passes because you don't want too much product build up to get on your brush as you're using it, that's going to leave room for mistakes. So just keep your tissue handy and every now and then just wipe off the product from your brush. Make sure your brush is very, very straight because again, you do not want to make any mistakes and make sure your eyebrows are in place and ready to go, okay? All right, I'm gonna start off by dipping my brush in the product. And I don't use too much. I literally just put it right on the tip, like right on the tip, nothing more, nothing less. And I'm gonna just trace out my eyebrows like I'm actually filling in my eyebrows on an everyday basis. What I've noticed from doing this um, a few times is don't be so heavy handed on the front because it's harder to take it off later than to just put less product on in the beginning. And you 
guys. I like to keep a Q-tip and some alcohol handy. So if I ever make a mistake, you need to clean it up right away. All right, so just wipe that away and keep on moving. And you need to work relatively quick, okay? You don't wanna just dwell in one spot because you need to let the product kind of go where it needs to go and sit there. you see it's getting dark already so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off my brush which I have not been doing y'all be better than me wipe your brush off in between passes that's probably why I was struggling a little bit just a tad and I'm gonna start on the next eyebrow all right so I will say that while you apply it as it's processing it does tingle a little bit you know kind of like a slight burning feeling but i've never seen any like issues with my skin from doing this so i continue to do it but you know judge your skin by yourself not by myself so if you need to do a little test put some on your hand first see how your hand reacts to it and if it's good to go then maybe put it on your face or do a little patch on your cheek before I just put it on your eyebrows you don't want to you know have a reaction because you're you just threw it on your face and you don't really know if your body could take it so just a caution there <laughs> all right so just keep that up and while that side is gonna process a little bit more I'm gonna take a spoolie this is actually the spoolie I use for my eyebrows every day and I'm going to begin kind of fading out the front because I don't like a harsh front part of my eyebrow. I like my eyebrows to look really natural so I'm going to start getting rid of some of that product. And I'm also just going to go in and kind of rake through the eyebrow and see if there's any spots that I may have missed, if I need to do anything else and just kind of, you know, tend to my eyebrows, kind of make them look good, make them look how I want them to. You gotta erase some things, do it while it's still processing, don't wait to the end. See, I didn't like the way that spot looked, so I'm just gonna use some alcohol, kinda rub that right away, and I'll rebuild it. really made me want to have eyebrows in this world so once I figured out that people actually draw their eyebrows on like I mean really draw them on I was like it's, it's lit we're fully participating in this right now and senior year in high school I went ahead and drew my eyebrows on nobody even noticed like they, they noticed but it was like People didn't really know they were fake. I actually started to become known my senior year in high school for having my eyebrows done. Like people knew me because of my eyebrows over everything else and it was crazy. I mean, that's pretty much the process y'all. So I'm just gonna keep manipulating them and playing, playing around with them until I like what I see. I brush through them as they process and see what I like, what I don't like. See like spots like that, like right there. See that like right there, right there, kind of in between there. This eyebrow actually really good. I like this one, but this one just kind of is <laughs> doing something on its own. So um, those spots, I'll probably go back over those light spots and kind of just put some more product on it and let it sit. But as you can see, it's way darker, you know, than what we started. That's what we want. And, you know, any spots that you see that's light, just go in with that product and just kind of don't sweep it on, but just pat it on, you know. 
so it can really sit there and kind of absorb in that area instead of spreading it over it and kind of like you know mixing it in with the other colors you want it to sit in that light part and darken up those light areas all right y'all so i have let the product sit on my eyebrows i have cleaned up all the spots that i wanted to clean eyebrows are nice and dark everything looks uniform it is on my face <laughs> you know like really on my face like look at this So, I don't do too much day one with them because over time they will fade and you will have to still draw in your eyebrows, um, you know, as they start to fade in certain spots and whatnot. But this just makes it easy, at least for the first three to four days. And, you know, by five, six, and seven, you might have to fill them in a little bit. So, if you were to wash your face really, really good, just kind of scrub with some soap and water, it'll come right off. It comes off for me every time with soap and water. Um, you know, you can take a shower, you can wash your face. Just be careful around the eyebrow area with soap and water because, again, it will come off. So just be careful in that aspect. If you just want to take it off, you just don't like it or whatever the cause may be, take that towel and just give it a nice little scrub and it'll be gone. No worries. That's it, you guys. I have completed my eyebrows. I'm going out of town today, so this is going to last me through the weekend. That's really what I wanted to do it for, and I decided to go ahead and film it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some, you know, information out of it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Jazzy Denise TV if you enjoyed this video. There will be plenty more like it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be you, be beautiful. And until the next video... Bye, guys.